President Biden has just announced new changes for so-called ghost guns. Some law enforcement groups say ghost guns are too easily purchased and assembled by both minors and felons who are not allowed to have firearms. Now the administration is cracking down on these privately made untraceable weapons. ABC's M. Wynn is in Washington with more. As gun deaths have reached record highs in recent years, so-called ghost guns are rising in popularity. Now amid growing pressure and fatalities involving the untraceable guns, President Biden is announcing new rule changes. Is it extreme to protect police officers, extreme to protect our children, extreme to keep guns out of the hands of people who couldn't even pass a background check? Look, the idea that someone on the terrorist list could purchase one of these guns. It's extreme, it isn't extreme, just basic common sense. Ghost guns are firearms that can be bought online in separate parts and assembled at home. The administration's crackdown will expand the definition of firearms to cover ghost gun buy, build, shoot kits and make them subject to the same federal laws as other firearms. This means background checks for anyone who tries to buy a kit, as well as requirements for each gun to have a serial number so they can be more easily traced by law enforcement if used in a crime. Second Amendment advocates say the administration is just trying to prevent people from making their own firearms. But a deadly shooting outside a Bronx, New York high school last week and another outside a New Mexico high school last month that left two teens dead, both reportedly involved ghost guns. The suspected shooters were also teenagers. It is dastardly that anyone, a thief or a child or anybody else, can go online and assemble a gun because ghost guns are not regulated. In an effort to stem the rise in gun violence, President Biden is again nominating someone to head the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms. But the role is proving difficult to fill, in part due to the polarizing nature of gun policy. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.